are going to name the great Chili Hot Springs. And so this is our book club book. book and we are going to talk about what happened in the first five chapters. And we'll go around the circle starting with Sue. Yeah. Yes. Is there any other Sue in this book club? A thing that I do not like about Gilly is she is very mean, she's very bossy, and she like takes control of the, a girl named Ang Angus Stop. What? There's like Angie. Oh, yeah, yeah, Angus. So Angus. Mm -hmm. Angus Stop. Okay, She moved. Yeah. Um, the thing I don't really kind of like about this book is like, the beginning. It's kind of really like confusing. I don't really get what's going on because it's generally going into like what's happening. And so yeah. The one thing I think is um, I like about this book that is there's a lot of action and.
some big questions in the beginning so far. Like, uh, why isn't she living with her mom? And like, why were there the two Azari girls up on her top of the show? And that's um, like, one thing I like about this book is that, like, um, the, it explains, like, the characters' feelings and how they are in just a few chapters, and you could tell what kind of person Gilly has been to be. A thing that I, um, don't <laughs> like about this book is that, um, or I wonder about this book, why, um, chapters, what is Gilly gonna do to, to like, find her mom again? Because she's planning to run away, go up to California and find her mom, but I wonder how she's gonna do it and if she's gonna stay with her mom. So that's the chapter. What page in the chapter? So she's, where is she right now? She's in, in, in Mr. Randolph's, Randolph's house. Place. Yeah. So um, they'd think he didn't read because he couldn't see. Yeah. That was it, of course. She felt better now that she was free to look at the books themselves. Without thinking, she began to straighten out the shelves as she read the titles. She saw several volumes of an encyclopedia set, Antarctica to Balp, and then Jerez to Liberty. She looked around for other volumes. It bothered her to have everything in a muddle. High on top of the shelf was Sarsaparilla to Sorcery. This is funny to me. It bothered her to have everything in a muddle. What does that mean? In a muddle. Ready, I'm gonna muddle this up. It's all messed up. Sorry, no. Is that your book? Whose book is this? Yours? Messed up and disorganized. Yeah, messed up and disorganized. But what do we know about Gilly Hopkins? That she was like, you wouldn't think of that. So you think that she would have all her stuff in Yeah. To me, like, she doesn't even brush her hair. She had bubble gum in her hair. Did she? Yeah. she doesn't like when there's books messed up. And now she doesn't like when there's books messed up? Hmm. Okay, high on top of the shelf was sarsaparilla to sorcery. She dragged a heavy stuffed chair backward to the, uh, to the shelf and climbed up onto on the very top of its back. On tiptoe, leaning against the rickety lower shelves to keep from toppling, she could barely reach the book. She pulled at it with the tips of her fingers, catching it as it fell. Something fluttered to the floor as she did so. Money. Blah, 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 two $5 bills. Where it says there might be more where that where these came from. She climbed up again, stretching almost to the point of falling, but it was no good. Although she could just about reach the top shelf with her fingertips, she was very unsteady, and the lower shelves were too wobbly to risk climbing. What do you guys think about that? I think she wants um, more money from. She's gonna steal money from Mr. Like she's already like planning it out mm -hmm. to do. She's she eating straight. Maybe she's going to steal it so she can find the money. Is it is it okay to steal if you're using it for a good purpose? Well, kind of. Possibly. Maybe. It, like if you steal like someone's full life savings, then that's. Uh, I don't. I don't think stealing will be like the a good way. I think you sh she should ask, but 
in this case, if she asks, then nobody would let her go. So she has to steal hmm. the money. Maybe, uh -huh. like, maybe like she'll have to go to this house again to get another book to read, and she'll like find something to bring, like a ladder. I don't know if she finds something to climb on and maybe make it to the top. Of the Why do you think that money was there to begin with? Because it, it could have been secretly placed there. Or so maybe it's not even Mr. Randall's money. Or he then is it okay? I think, or he uses it, um, he, he's blind, so he doesn't read it, and I think he used it, maybe so people read it, and maybe he has a bookmark, and then it fell, and then <laughs> or maybe, maybe there's something secretive about that bookshelf, that no one knows yet. Mmm, something secretive about the bookshelf. But I just thought it was interesting because it shows two different sides. Well, more Gilly is a very complicated character, but it shows how she wants everything neat and orderly, but she's willing to almost pull down the entire bookshelf to make it orderly, and then she finds this money, and then she decides to steal the money when she's trying to organize the books. She's just a very interesting character. She other examples that you've read so far of her doing contradictory things? So she's yeah. doing one thing and then and she's doing an entirely different like thing. Like when uh, she met Angus or Agus? Yeah, Ang um, Angus. Um, and she seemed like another mean girl mm -hmm. like her that wanted to team up maybe. I thought she oh, would, Agnes, uh, yeah. I, I thought she would uh, like to do that because Angus kind of seemed like um, on the chapter, at chapter five, um, when I read it, um, uh, Can you show us where you're reading? Which, on uh, chapter five, but what page in which chapter? So she walks outside, sees Agnes waiting for her. She's like, uh, no. <laughs> That's what her first impulse was in her mind. But then she changed when when they got to school, Angus got bubblegum out. So Gilly like started being nice to her and um, slew her because Gilly said sometimes um, Angus would be helpful, helpful to get stuff for her. And think about, what's the little boy's name? William, William something. Uh, w William w Ernest, W-E. Yes. Um, uh, uh, really really nice, just to be nice? Nice, nice so that you Nice, so she can use them to do Same stuff. Same with uh, uh, Angus. She's good. She, I think she's she uh, to, um, is happy to have Angus because she can use her to to do to yeah to do naughty things. So she uses people. Is she using Mrs. Trotter? No. Or just no, no not can. Can she use Mrs. Trotter? I don't think so. I don't think so because um, I think she's all grown and maybe she's like. She might not have the stuff that she like needs. I think she only uses like um like smaller age than us because she cannot trick um older people like adults. That well, then maybe just. She was mad at 
that book. And, and then she thought of a plan. Maybe we'll answer these questions in our next book thingy video. Okay.